<clears throat> hey, howdy, how's it going? Hope you're having a good uh, after Christmas season, a good coming up to New Year's, a good whatever you call this sort of in-between area where everybody kills themselves because <laughs> I guess it's a popular time to do that. Wouldn't know. I'm not particularly suicidal myself. But apparently Christmas time is right around where people decide to end it all. And uh, the people who make it get really depressed around New Year's because they're in for another year of whatever the hell they had to put up with the year before. This is a sad way to start this stream, right? <laughs> I'm feeling great. I'm hoping you're feeling great. I'm just pointing out the fact that a lot of people are not feeling so great right about now. A lot of people not have, not not feeling up to play some shitty games. But that's what we're gonna do. All right, yeah, this level is gonna be uh, garbage. I'm pretty sure, just based off of the design of it. I mean, to be fair, this looks kind of neat. This this don't though. This looks terrible. <laughs> Just do it. What, kill myself? I'm fine. Really have no desire to kill myself. I'm, I'm actually a very optimistic person. Despite the fact that depression runs in my family. I understand it. I mean, everybody gets a little, a little uh, bummed out. <laughs> Occasionally. My whole family is full of drunks and the depressed. And I'm about the happiest person I, I know. I don't think there's anybody happier than me. Not trying to brag or nothing, just saying. It's pretty funny though. The rest of my family is 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 real depressed. Living people, people who are dead. Well, I don't think we've had any suicides, so I think they just kind of deal with it. Um, this seems kind of like the thing where like all these items are gonna be fake outs, and uh, there's gonna be no real reason to get them, but I'm gonna do it anyway, and I'm gonna keep getting poisoned. It's gonna be really fucking annoying. Is this guy like? Oh, well, he's not friendly. Oh, oh, that wasn't a uh, that wasn't a melee attack. That was a ranged attack. Also, I really need to turn up the volume. Also, Dark Souls Two does not run in Windows Borderless, so I gotta fucking do it like this. Also, now, okay, that's the problem. Oh, I see. Sh okay, uh, yeah, something like that. That's a little fucking loud. I think it's good. I think that's all right. Those damn Irish. <laughs> what? You're gonna kill yourself because the Irish exist? That's quite, that's quite a reason there. What does this woman have, anyway? She's gotta have poison heals, right? No. Not a single poison heal. Well, you know, that would just be too easy. We've got some pretty good fucking poison resist just because of how often- Are we slowly gaining poison just by being down here? Or is that the sludge that was on us? It was the sludge. Oh, okay. I thought the fucking air we were breathing was poison. We were just slowly dying like anyone in one of the major metropolitan areas of the US, if you know what I mean. Smog City. I've been to LA once, and uh, it was fucking... It was fucking terrible. I don't know how people can live with that. I remember even... Even one of these cities near me, which I will not disclose which one it is, but one of these cities near me, uh, this priest that I know moved, uh, m m like, moved here from Florida, and his immediate thought, he said right when he got here, he said, um, the first thing he noticed was how fucking terrible it smelt. And, uh, he, he like, got a migraine the first day here. He's like, oh, this is gonna be a great time. By existing, you continue to die. So why live in the first place? <laughs> oh, you got me. Alright, I think we need to kind of have a plan here. I think the plan is to run and grab this item, see if it's worth fucking anything, and then leave. Yeah, two torches? I, I don't think so. Ah, shit. Are we gonna have to do this? Just, like, go down there, grab one, come back up, wait for the poison to go away, go down there, grab one, come back up. Because that's fucking... Boring as hell. Is there like a- is there like an off switch for this poison? Is this like a Zelda puzzle and I can just turn this off and then we can continue like normal? What's this guy gonna do? He's gonna kill the big one. Just put on a gas mask, thanks. You live in LA. Well, I'm sorry. That's too bad. I would hate to live there. I mean, the thing is, whenever- if I ever insult a major city, the problem is that like... 
there's there are cities for a reason. A lot of people live there. So if I say like fuck LA, it's garbage. There's a very good chance that someone in like someone listening to this, someone watching this, is in LA. Oh, these actually seem useful. Fading soul. That's that's free souls. I mean, that's maybe. Do we have like a ring maybe that resists poison or? Okay, the skeleton's coming. Like something, right? We have to have something. They can't just... This isn't just a badly designed game, right? This isn't just wasting my fucking time, right? Right? Like, because this isn't a challenge, let's be clear. This is just you run, you come back. There's no... There's no depth to this. This is just, do you want to waste your time or do you not? And so far I've decided I do, but I think I'm fucking changing my mind. I think I'm not going to pick up the rest of this shit. You're guessing most people, even if they, they live in those cities, would agree. Yeah, that's a funny thing, isn't it? I don't know if you've ever seen the movie uh, Dinner with Andre. I haven't, but I've seen a clip from it. And uh, one of the two guys, the whole movie is basically just these, well, from what I know. It's just these two guys talking, just having a conversation, just chit-chatting. And apparently it's a really good movie, which is impressive if you can make a good movie about two people just talking. And at one point, one of them talks about uh, his theory that he thinks New York City is the is the prototype for a modern day prison that is run by the inmates and because they think they own it and they think ha they have some sort of say in what goes on there they'll never rebel and there's no need for guards it's an, inter it's an interesting idea it really makes me want to watch that movie although apparently right after that scene the other guy says like no you're fucking crazy and the other and then the guy says like oh yeah you're probably right so, who are these, uh, who are these cuties? And why are they so upset? And <laughs> why are they so fucking weak? That is some revealing clothing. These, never mind, cute my ass. More like vile succubi wanting to drain my essence. No thank you. You can go suck someone else's essence if you know what I'm saying, bitch. A brave new world, huh? Yeah, something like that. Speaking of which, I'm working on a I'm working on a video right now about Brave New World. Like a like a like a book recommendation video cuz pe people love books, right? Who wouldn't want to watch a video about a book? But uh, you know, it's Nobody watches that shit anyway, so what does it matter? And I think it'll be a fun idea. And I've got a- I've been working on it for like a month or so. Mostly because I'm lazy. I could have done more work on it. And- uh, lazy and busy. But uh... Yeah, I've been working on that. I- I didn't like it, is the problem. That's why I kind of dislike making edited stuff, but at the same time it's my favorite stuff to make. Uh, I've already been up here, don't know what I'm doing. Oh, Everest. That's a new one. Howdy. Let's wait for him to climb up here, actually. Book dislike. Yeah, uh, but I was gonna say... Oh, where are you going? Alright. The edited stuff, I, I love making it. It's super fun, but, like, I have to put effort into it. Whereas, like, I do something like this, <laughs> you know? And to be honest, I don't fucking care if... if somebody doesn't find the things I'm saying funny or entertaining or they don't like the game I'm playing, it's like, oh, whatever. You know, it's just a fucking let's play shit. It's just streaming. It's just whatever. Where's this guy going? Is this a trick? But when I make this edited stuff, it's like it's gotta be good. Like, if I'm gonna spend this much time on it, I'm gonna put them out this irregularly. It's, there's gotta be something worthwhile, right? Like, I can't just put out absolute garbage. And then I hold myself to too high standards and I never get anything done. So like, yeah, this video I've been working on, it should have been out like m a month ago. But then I completely, like just yesterday, I completely just deleted the script and decided like, nope, that wasn't good. Doing that again. Fuck me. <sighs> Replace the K with a B. Like. Boob? Telling me to make a boob video? 
because I personally do not have any. Neither do uh, neither does anyone that I know, basically. <laughs> I do not associate with the weaker sex, so uh, it would be kind of hard for me to make a boob video with any real uh, original content in it. Why is your YouTube profile an old man? Well, because I like him. <laughs> I like that guy. I like what he looks like. He looks like how I feel. Uh, just bewildered and old. Despite the fact I am not old. Bewildered, sure. And he's actually from, uh, it's actually from the cover of a video game, believe it or not. It's pretty famous as, it's widely considered to be one of the worst covers in video games, but I fucking love it. So, I figured it, you know, I'm, I'm giving it some, put it in the limelight a little bit. I think people should appreciate it, because I think it's a fucking genius cover. Because the game, for the life of me, I can't remember what the game is called right now, which is embarrassing. But, uh, the game is like a, it's like a top, or it's like an arcade shooter. You know, not, not like a bullet hell, but the same kind of game. Um, and despite that, the cover is just a picture of an old man with a banjo. And there's no reason for it. I mean, oh, okay. It, there's, there's not an old man or a banjo in the entire fucking game. It's just a fucking spaceship flying around shooting things. That's the whole game. Um, but I think it's genius. I love the cover. I don't care that it has nothing to do with the game. It's fucking great. You should probably have lower standards, if anything, to get things done. Yeah, uh... There's that writer, uh, David Foster Wallace talked about that. He said if you're... He said it like a fucking... A tool. He had some really complicated way of saying it, because he's fucking David Foster Wallace. But, the way he said something to the effect of... Um... The worst thing for... What is it? Like... How did he put it? It was like, the worst thing you can have if you want to get things done is too high of a measure of success. Like, too high of standards, basically. And I agree with him. I mean, it's true. If, if you... If everything you do has to be perfect, you won't fucking do anything. I mean, it's just impossible. You can't be perfect. But, I've redone the script. I got a completely new idea for it. I think it's funnier. I think it's a better... It's like a more interesting idea. I think it's not just a... a I think it transcends being a book review, and so I think uh, I'm happy with it so far. I'm happy with where it's going. I just have to do the whole thing over again and, you know, see where it goes. Okay, I don't... The problem is these running attacks... Oh, it actually does work. Okay, well, I got one of those. Am I a weeb? I wouldn't consider myself one. I'm kind of in a strange situation with that question, if I'm going to be honest. Because normally the answer... Well... Okay, I mean, let's say I said no. Someone's gonna say, like, well, but you fucking watch anime. And it's like, well, yeah, occasionally. I don't think that falls quite into the definition, but I see your point. You know, fair argument. But then if I said yes, they'd say, like, well, what shows have you watched? Have you watched X? Have you watched Z? Have you, X have you watched Y? And be like, no, I haven't watched any of those. It's like, oh, you're fucking, you're no weeb. You don't even watch the good stuff. And it's like, oh, great. You know, I'm in between. I haven't watched enough to be considered, like, a man of good taste in anime. But, uh, I haven't watched little enough to just say, like, no, fucking anime is trash. I, don't, I mean, I can still say that, because it's true. But I can't just say, like, no, I never watched it in my life. Because it's not true. I'm in a private tracker right now. I just downloaded fucking, uh, Serial Experiments Lane, because I wanted to rewatch it. But on the other hand, I still haven't watched Evangelion, so... Okay, I guess we're not going this way. Try, try Giant Destroy. Oh, I see, we're dumb. Oh, I see. Right. Well. Anime is pretty mainstream. Well, nowadays it kind of is. I, kind of depends on what you mean by that. Because I've, I've become a little more aware of the fact that there are people who don't even fucking use the internet at all, and so something like anime is so foreign to them that it may as well not exist. I mean... Like, I was up- I, I know I mention this about every fucking stream, um, and it's getting annoying even for me. Okay, I actually have to go down here. Okay, great. But, uh, when I was up in Alaska, um, the guys there, I can assure you, they don't know what the fuck anime is, and if I showed it to them, they'd think I was some gay faggot. 
And, you know, I don't blame him. Oh, I like this path of deaths here that leads me right to this. Perfect. But as far as, like, people who use the internet or people who, you know, have used it for a significant amount of time, yeah, it's pretty mainstream. I guess. But you're not gonna see it on fucking Channel 10 News talking about, you know, oh, newest anime release came out today. Uh, not really. Whereas you might see, you know, a new album come out and it'll be on the local news or a new whatever. You won't see that, though. So, uh, mainstream to a degree, I guess. But, I mean, even in fucking Japan, it's supposed to be like a niche, right? Fuck me. Fuck me. Alright. It's not Japan level, but it's kind of normalized in our society. Uh, uh. I don't know about that. I'm not really sure if... It's kind of... It depends on who you talk to. I mean, if you're talking to... I, I'd say... It depends on the demographic. If you're talking to young people, it's a lot more likely they're gonna... You know, they probably watch it too. If you're talking to... People who are on the internet a lot, it's a lot more likely. If you're talking to someone old who works, you know, like a 9 to 5 manual labor job, you're going to get more and more likely that they don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Or in the, or they think it's just garbage, and that's fair. On the other hand, I found out um, my, uh, my uncle was a weeb. He might still be, I don't fucking know. But when I was a kid, I used to watch Gundam at his house. He was, and like, well... He's just a regular guy. He's just, he's a fucking redneck. Okay, I'm dead. That was a mistake. It seems to be everywhere in Japan and ads and on the news from what you've seen. Well, it seems like they do have that habit of like... M like get it, giving mascots to everything and then the mascots ten and tend to be like anime sort of shit. But I don't know if the actual watching of the shows or movies is that... Big, but I don't know. No, I guess it depends on the show or movie, I mean. Because one thing you could say, in, in a way, you could say in the US that animation isn't very big, depending on which one you say. But then if you say, like, well, what about, like, fucking South Park or something, it's like, okay, well, okay, sure. Or what about The Simpsons? It's like, well, yeah, okay, I guess fucking everyone and their mom has seen The Simpsons. This is not what I meant. So it might be something like that. Maybe every, maybe there's a, a few things in Japan that are like, yeah, of course, everybody's seen that. But then, you know, you ask them if they watch the new fucking... I don't know, I don't watch it. <laughs> I don't know what's airing right now. Fucking, uh, the, no, the new uh, Kino's Journey, you ask if they've seen that, they're going to be like, what the hell are you talking about, my man? Has anyone here tried to watch Japanese live action before? Because, uh, I've, I've tried to, and it is garbage. And it makes me feel good that it's garbage, actually. And I, and I watched, like, I went to, like, I've only watched one show. Okay, so, like, to be fair, I didn't give it, like, a, a big try. Um, let's see if we can get these guys to break this open. But, um, I mean, I tried the show, and it was recommended as, like, one of the best shows of live-action Japanese TV. And I was like, yeah, whatever, sure. And, uh, and I figured that would be a better way to learn, to help learn the language than fucking anime. I don't want to talk like a small child or an autistic man shouting about his, you know, his, uh, willpower. You know, no, that's fine. Um... So I tried it, and it's just bad. I mean, it's like every, it's like some shit you'd see... During, like, on daytime TV in the U.S. The Gintama live-action is good. Really? That's surprising. I mean, I know Gintama's good. I only watched, like, a little bit of the... Like, from the beginning. And I liked it. And it's consistently, like, one of the top-rated shows. Because, like, everybody fucking loves it. Every season of it. And I liked it. It's got some really <laughs> funny moments. Like Power Rangers-esque stuff? No, I'm talking like, uh, like, J-dramas. Power Rangers sort of stuff might be good, I don't know.
Okay, well, uh, I guess we're just gonna slowly pick these guys off, or, or we're gonna get stuck in a corner and fucking die. No, we're good. We're good. You'd say animation in the U.S. is pretty normal Disney and stuff? Uh, I guess. I guess in that way. But even then, if it's a fucking Disney movie, and as a grown man, I go and watch it, it's gonna raise some red flags. People are gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? And I think there's that same sort of idea a lot when anyone sees any kind of animation in the U.S. It's like, oh, he's watching a children's show. He's not a- he's not children. Uh, I'm concerned. And probably- I don't know. I don't blame them. Because that's all we fucking get, for the most part, in the U.S. Is we get children's shows and we get shitty comedies. And you can tell which one is which because the shitty comedies look like shit. They put no work into the animation. And the kid shows, well, they actually look decent. So if you see anything that ever looks decent, the immediate assumption is, Oh, that must be a kid show. It's like, oh. Alright, well. Just recently, though, I've downloaded a ton of, uh, good adult animation, or at least a lot of it's adult. Adult Western animation. Because I finally, I had to, I, I know I've mentioned this before, I had to up my data limit an extra 500 gigs, but despite that, it runs out, like, tomorrow. So I needed to download everything I ever wanted to watch in my, you know, for the next month, I, I, I have it, I need to have it set up so I don't download anything. I'd never have to do this again. And, uh, so I got a lot of Western stuff, but even then, like, half of this stuff, it's supposed to be, like, masterpieces, you know? Um, but a lot of it is still, like, just kid stuff. Let's try this. That fucking asshole. <sighs> okay, alright, okay. That's what I get, right? That's what I deserve for trusting the, uh, the message. I should have known it was a, it was a f trick. These guys don't respawn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Mm, could still kill that guy. You know what, we have our sword upgraded all the way, so it's kind of worthless. Let's just go grab our souls. Oh wait, the guys are right here. Do they respawn? Oh man. Oh man. Are you serious? Okay. Bust on out, big guy. Bust on out. Please, bust, bust, please. There's a guy in there, isn't there? Oh. Okay, well, my bad. Grab this, hope I can get through, it's kind of unlikely. Eh. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, this could be a problem. Yo, what's up? Yeah, hey Joe. How's it going? Long time no see. How's How was your Christmas? How are your holidays going? What are you doing for New Year's? <laughs> Tell me your personal information. Where do you live? What does your sister look like? Is she good looking? Do you have a sister? Oh shit, I'm probably at the worst part of the game. Feels like it. I don't like the design. I mean, I'm dying here, and that's just my fault. But, like, I actually also just don't like this part of the game. Like, I am just not... I'm not enjoying this as much as even the rest of the game. And I'm not pretending like the rest of the game was particularly enjoyable. Even compared to this. But... So I think I'm just gonna ignore all those holes we left, because whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna move on through this piece. Uh, there's still all these items... Okay. That's nice. There's all these items down there. I'm just gonna say fuck it. I, I don't care. What do I even need? You know what I mean? That ninja is uh, an idiot. Get fucked, dex build. <laughs> Look at this silly green man. Since when were we fighting goblins? But yeah, I'm hoping to- I'm, I think I'm just gonna get through this area. There's nothing we need, right? We've got good enough armor. We've got the only fucking weapon we want to use ever. Uh, unless there's just something bigger. We've got it fully upgraded, so we don't even really need things to upgrade things with. Except maybe we want to upgrade our armor. It's a possibility. In fact, now that I say that, it might be a, might be a good idea. But other than that... 
Another stupid ninja dead. You already know where you live. Well, yeah. Sh yeah, you live in Brazil. That sucks. Wait, did that guy just die? Oh, okay, good. Okay. Um, life is pretty good. Your girl is traveling and you're pretty sad, but she's coming back soon. Well, if I can give you some very, uh, some very mean-spirited advice, uh, learn, learn to be okay with your woman being gone, is what I would say. Not, not because she's going to leave you or something. That sounded actually meaner than I meant it. I just mean, usually, this is just from, uh, observational standpoint. I have no experience in relationships. I'm happy to admit that. I am a chaste man, and I will not let a woman tempt me. But I... Just from observation, relationships usually go better when the man is not that interested, or at least puts on that facade. Because a lot of times it is a facade. He knows. People know. They know that the woman, the woman gets more, the woman gets more invested the less invested the man is. It's weird. Is it right? Probably not. But it's hey. Just, just some advice. We all know you are married. One day. Um, is this a covenant worth doing? Praise the sun. Hey, I'm not in for the fucking meme. What's up? Hey, what's up? How's it going? How's how was your Christmas? <laughs> Same set of questions. How how was your Christmas? What are you doing for New Year's? What are you? How's it going? How you been? You could probably use throwing knives to clear those pots rather than rolling through them. Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one day I'll probably be married. Probably. I've always got a backup. If I don't get married, but, but if I, uh, if I do, it'll just be all of a sudden, I can assure you. It'll be like one day I'm streaming and it's like, okay, uh, like, like, I'll be talking like today and it'll be like, yeah, I'm, uh, no, not really, you know, haven't been in a relationship or anything, really don't really care about it, whatever. And the next day it'll be like, and I'm married, uh, gonna be, uh, <laughs> moving out into the country soon, uh, you know. That's how I imagine it anyway. It'll just be... We all know you have two kids. Two kids? Are you crazy? I'd feel ashamed if all I had was two kids. That's not even above replacement rate. My entire race is dying off and my... Uh, more important than that, my family is dying off. I'm like the only one in my family who has any chance of reproducing. You think I'm just gonna stick with two? I'm gonna feel upset if I'm not in the double digits. I have to basically, this is the responsibility that's on my shoulders. My family is going to die if I don't like, f breed like a crazy asshole. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, I accept that responsibility. I accept that if I, if and when I get married, she's gonna be pumping them out like a, like a gosh darn factory. And if she's not okay with that, next. Sorry. You're not wife material. <laughs> it sounds like I'm joking, but I'm not joking. It's important. I, I like I my family is going to be gone, and I don't like that. Because all there is is there's there's my cousin who is who is kind of a kind of a uh, degenerate kind of redneck guy who probably won't settle down, but he probably will have a couple kids, but probably no more than like one or two. I've got my other cousin who might never marry. I've got my brother who may or may not be gay. And then I've got my other brother who's just a shut-in. Um, who's a nice enough... He could, I could see him getting married maybe one day. I think he's actually tuned into the stream once. In fact, I think both my, both my brothers have, so maybe I'm talking shit to him right now. But uh, the biggest chance my family has is me. And you know, okay, fine, I'll take it. I'll do it. Get 35 kids like Code Geass. <laughs> Haven't watched that one. Also, I'm pretty sure that's not how you say it, but I like it better. You're 10 and you're watching this, JK. Hey, if you're 10, uh... Well, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say to that. Let's just pretend no one here is underage. Turn into Mormon and embrace polygamy. Well, I'm not some sort of fucking degenerate. I just... I'm gonna use the means that, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have a norm- a normal marriage. It's just gonna be- it's not going to stop. You understand? It's just gonna... Have fun in poverty land, though that is commendable. Well, you know, 
Yeah, that's true. Also, I can tell you right now, my, my wife will not work. Um, like, I, I won't let her. Uh, it's, that's just a, uh, that's just a pride thing. I'm willing to admit that, and I'm willing, and also I think it works better, for the most part. But, uh, so yeah, poverty is probably where I'm going. I'm used to that. My family has always been under the poverty line. I've made, you know, like, I went up to Alaska last year, or this, this, you know, this last summer, made not that much money, to be honest. I mean, it's a lot of money in the short amount of time I made it, but compared to most people, they'd be like, wow, you're a poor fucker. Um, but I'm probably, like, one of the richest people in my family right now. Uh, which, I don't know what that tells you. Dumb family, poor family, bad with money, I don't know. Wish you wouldn't talk like that about my loved ones, but, uh, you know, make your own decisions there, make your own opinions. <laughs> probably bad with money is what I would do. I mean, they are, they are bad with money. I, I, every fucking time I walk up to this woman, think I can kill her before she hits me, and I'm wrong. Did I just die to the same girl in the same way? Yes. Cheers. <sighs> just become a farmer. You do not understand how likely of an option that is. You are joking, I'm sure. But I can assure you that is a real possibility. My dad's side of the family is a long line of farmers. Unfortunately, they don't have any land left because they're a bunch of idiots. They're not idiots. My family's great. But, like, they, you know, it, it happens. They need money, so they sell some of the family land, and then that keeps going on generation after generation. By the time it gets to me, there's none left. They, we don't have any land. So, I would have to buy that myself. Um, and, well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Also, I'm realizing, I said I'm one of the, probably one of the richest people in my family, despite being poor. I, I realize that's not true. If you count some of my more distant family. My grandpa actually is still doing alright. I don't- I think he's retired now, so maybe he's just doing okay. But then I've also got a great uncle who's like actually kind of rich. But... I don't know. Please, 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 please. Okay. You can always win the lottery. What do you think I'm- why do you think I'm playing- why do you think I have money invested in cryptocurrency? I hate the lottery, by the way. I see my family play it all the time, and I just think, like, this is why you're nutty. This is why you don't have money. Like, this is this is why you're still poor. It's because you think this is a good business decision. It isn't. That's not a good financial... Like, you're... You would be so much better off putting that into anything else. Um... Hmm... Uh, oh, you can't go up those stairs. Oh, okay. I thought that was gonna be like the trick, how to beat him. You, you know, you drop down on him. This is a, this is an interesting boss. He doesn't have much health. He sort of pushes you along when he turns, which makes it way easier to dodge him, because you can always stay on the side of him. Except his tail, I guess, is gonna hit me. Alright, okay. I see the, uh, yeah, I see the problem there. Uh, I don't want to jinx it or nothing. Sure seems like this is not going to be an extremely difficult boss. I'm going to be a little upset if I die at all to this guy. I mean... Yeah... Uh... Dark Souls 2, are you even fucking trying? <laughs> okay. Well, hey! Good shit. Farming is fun. Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. I don't know. I haven't really done any. I've done just minor stuff. You know, like my... My, uh, grandpa... Raised... He raised... Like, uh... My cousin raised a pig, actually. And my grandpa does some odd farming stuff. But mostly he does, like... Like, big, big farming stuff that I actually kind of dislike. Like, his... His profession... He specializes in pesticides. And it's like, no... 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 That's not really where I'm... It's, no thank you. I'm fine without that. You have to fight for your fortune in a battle royale kind of game, then stream it, then win a lot of money doing so? I would do it. I would do it if it was non-lethal. I don't want to kill anybody to get my fortune, but if I, you know... If instead of bullets they had, you know, tranquilizer darts, I'd do it in a heartbeat. And I would win. I can... I, I mean, I would. I just... I mean, as long as there's no Navy SEALs or something on there. 
In which case, I'm willing to admit I'm probably not going to win. Unless you can have more than one person win, then I would just team up with the Navy SEAL and split the money. Unless, of course, they're a very untrustworthy person. Eh, we're getting into details that would <laughs> that would depend on the situation. But I would try my darndest, and I think I'd have a good shot. Illusion ahead. You're a liar. Nah, I knew it. Just buy some land in Nebraska because the land is great and no one lives there. Is it great? I've kind of looked into that sort of thing, but Nebraska, it always kind of seems like it's just... Is there anything there? You know? And I don't mean, like, stuff to do. I don't really mind that. Especially if I could get just an, an internet connection. I wouldn't need anything else. If there's not an inter internet connection, then I'd be a little more worried about, like, okay, is there, is there, like, a movie theater? Is there people? But if there's an internet connection, it's like, whatever. I'll just stream. <laughs> Which is why I've considered, like, middle Idaho. Because apparently you can get some cheap land around there. And they can you can get fucking fiber optic. You'd have better than I have here by a big city. Uh, I meant to read that message. Don't you dare. Alright. Well, last time I trusted the message, I fucking died. So, uh... Let's die to this one. It's probably a trap. Right? Uh, all right, well. Stream farming, IRL. That'd be interesting, actually. I need to catch up with the chat here. I'm like, I'm behind. Uh, fucking dex build twinks. Come on, you do like no damage. I love that meme. You may be stronger, but if you can't hit me, Um, buy some land where you have good internet so you can stream properly. Yeah, exactly. That'd be great. It is funny how Dark Souls 2 had his bosses like Covetous Demon and motherfucking assholes like Fume Knight. Yeah, I mean, that was the easiest boss I've done in the whole game. I mean, it, the bosses should not get easier as you go along. But okay. Dark Souls 2. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you how to play your- how to make your game. I, I guess you know what you're doing, right? Liar ahead in short- what? What? Liar ahead in short bonfire ahead. What, is there gonna be like a fake bonfire here? What does that mean? Sure doesn't look like a fake one to me. I don't know what he means by liar. Shit. Shit! Shit! Are you kidding me? I died because I couldn't hit him by the... Omae wa mo shinderu. Nani? <laughs> he just fucking pushed me off. Oh wait, wait, really? I act that actually counted as me getting it. Oh, okay. Well, I got real lucky on that one. All right, cool. Let's kill this guy again. Cause he's pretty easy. And I think he gives me a decent enough amount of souls. Eh, eh, four hundred. This is a lot of ninjas. They're so easy, though. I mean, as long as they don't use bullshit tactics like push you off the edge, then it's it's easy. Oh, so I was at the store today, and uh, the cashier there, I got in a very weird conversation. It made me feel really uncomfortable. Uh, and it started out innocent, like completely innocent. Just, she was checking out what I had, and uh, she, you know, she she scanned a thing of liver, and she's like, "Oh, I love I love liver and onions. I thought I was the only one who liked liver and onions." And I was like, "No, I love li liver and onions too, and nobody likes it." And we we talked about liking liver and onions, and then the first red flag was she said something about her boyfriend, and this woman is like, "If she's she's a she's fifty, if she's a day, you know, like like if she is younger than fifty, I'll eat my hat, uh, because she's old." And she was ugly. Uh, maybe, maybe she's younger than she looks because she's ugly. Uh, you know, I don't want to be mean, but it's just true. She's, she's, she was old, and she said boyfriend, and it's like, you, uh, old woman cashier, you sh uh, doesn't feel right for you to say boyfriend. She also looked like a hippie, but I was like, okay, I'll keep on with this conversation. She keeps scanning my items. She scans coconut oil because I cook with coconut oil. It's a healthy oil. You can cook it with high heat, which is good for uh, stir fry. I like making stir fry. And she, uh, she says, oh, she says, oh, coconut oil, you can do a lot with that. And I'm like, yeah, you can, you can, you can, you know, fry, 
You can, I don't know. Yeah, you can use it with a lot of different foods. It's like, okay, sure. And then she looks at me and she's like, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with coconut oil. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you can. What? Yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with coconut oil. And then she starts going on this conversation about how she was talking to some friend of hers about things you can do with coconut oil because she bought some and they were like, why are you buying coconut oil? And she's like, well, you know all the stuff you can do with coconut oil. And her friend was like, no, what, what do you mean? And she, I guess she, she was telling him like, well, you know, you know. And then she went into this long conversation with me about how she was telling a friend of hers how she would do very sexual things with coconut oil. And I'm sitting here just, I'm just trying to buy my groceries. I just want to go home. And I'm just smiling and nodding like, all right, old lady. Uh-huh, all right. And she's and she goes on to this this long. Are you sure you aren't just autistic and incapable of conversation? Well, no, I played along like a fucking pro. I mean, she thought I was all like, like, oh yeah, coconut oil. Oh no, I hear you. But she just kept going and going with it. And then she went into like, you know, you'll never know if you like something if you don't try it. You should, you know, if you're with somebody, you shouldn't be afraid to, uh, to try something weird, to, to ask them because, you know, chances are they also like it and they'll do something weird. I'm like, lady, please, please, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to buy my groceries. I don't want to hear about this, I mean, really ugly woman talk about her sex life. And, and like I said, she could, she had to be older than 50. And then she, she ends it with like a have a good new year. And like a, like she, I think she almost tried for a wink or something, but I was fucking done at that point. Like I saw it out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, I'm, I'm gone. Bye. Have a nice day. Have a good one. I, <laughs> I need to get out of here before you scar me with these images. Cause I have a... I have a, what, what you might call an active imagination. You say something like that, and it, it, it happens in my mind. I can't, I can't help it. In some ways, it's very useful. I can imagine, uh, I have a very good memory because of it. If you ask me what's in my fridge right now, I can, like, look at a mental picture of my fridge and tell you. Um, but at the same time, if you ask, if you tell me to picture this old woman having kinky, oh, fuck, first mimic. Great, the one time I don't check it. But yeah, if you if you ask me to picture this this old woman having kinky coconut oil sex, uh, it's uh, it's it just happens. I can't help it. It's like that old schoolyard trick. I don't know if you remember this one. Luckily, I have some mental fortitude and I can stop myself from imagining this one. But there's that old there's that old schoolyard trick where they say, "Hey, did you know if you ever picture your mom naked, you go to hell?" And then immediately, because your brain is just like you know, you're a child and you can't control it, you imagine, you immediately think of that. And then it's like, oh fuck, well there goes that. Buh bye uh, buh bye eternal happiness. <laughs> Luckily, I've avoided that image, but I could not avoid this old woman. I don't know what that says. Don't know what that says at all. She was, uh, she's, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't on my guard, is why. Maybe she was hitting on you. I hope not. She said she had a boyfriend. <laughs> but that's weird, because she's real old. She looked like a hippie. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna... If I had to make a guess, I'd say she's probably even older than I said. She's probably, like, 60 or something. And, uh, she was, like, around in the 60s. Well, wait, what would that make? Yeah, yeah, that's about right. 60, 70. And... She was into the whole free love stuff, and maybe she just never really got over that. And, uh, she's just very open about that topic. Uh, I was about to say good for her, but no, I really don't. Mm. Keep it to yourself, please. And also, just, just don't do it. Just stop. Just, that sounds, I mean, like, if it's inside of a loving marriage, I mean, I'll say, you know, good for you, whatever. This is some weird old woman who's still single. Well... Not single, I guess, with a boyfriend. I'm just not... I'm not gonna give that my A-OK. -okay. Sorry, old woman. I'm doing so bad right now. I think my mind is somewhere else. Free love. Please don't make me vomit. Thank you. Thank you. I know, it's... it's. I hate the, uh, the whole... That whole ideal. Luckily... 
Most of my family that's all, that is that old also hates it. I was just talking to my grandma earlier, and she was talking about how she she hated that. She hated that 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 was like what was popular in the time when she was young. This is a fucking weird mimic. Because we were talking about how my uh, my cousin may or may not have uh, had sexual relations with a with a certain girl, and how well how a lot of things are wrong with that girl, such as the fact she's she's mean, <laughs> she's not attractive, <laughs> she's a little fat, and all of those things were said by my grandma before they were said by me. So uh, I guess that's where I get it. I guess that's where I get being a bully. Um. Really? Is that actually not going to open a door? It's just going to... Pointless ahead. Thank you. Well, should have read that first. Okay. Uh, okay, well, that actually worked. I thought that wasn't going to work. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I, I need to focus a bit on this game, but at the same time, it's like I don't like it. So... Do I even want to focus on it? I'm guessing I need to go up there. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm poisoned. I'm getting poisoned because of this goop. I don't know if rolling actually makes it go away faster. I think it might. I'm gonna operate under the assumption that it does. Until someone tells me different. Please get rid of the goop. Please, thank you. Okay. Now I just need to wait a second. Make love, not love. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean by that? The only time you should ever have sex is with your wife when you're married. Amen, brother. I believe in that 110%. I know that's a dumb... I, I also believe 100% in not saying stupid things like 110%, but despite that, I've done it. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I agree. Marriage is the way to go. I mean, I, like, I even like this become a meme about uh, consensual sex in the missionary position. It's true, though. That's number one. I, you can't beat it. I wouldn't know. I'm not married. But... That's what you... Go get yourself a, a loving wife. And if not, become a monk or something. That's a, that's, an, that's a good alternative. Other than that... What are you doing with your life? Where's it going? I've always had the problem, though. Because to be, to be fair, I say that I've never been in a relationship. I'm not going to brag or anything. I'm fairly popular with the ladies. It's not like I couldn't have had a relationship. I'm actually a... Uh... In recent years, I have become an okay-looking man. Um, I will say. Or at least people tell me. I used to be a fat fuck. And, uh, but the nice thing is... When you work out, it improves your face, too. I had an ugly face, or at least, you know, not, not a great face. Turns out it was just hidden behind layers of fat. That's why you lift. It, it works pretty well. But now, the problem is, I, I've, I've realized that, personally, I'm a romantic. I like the ideal of, like, okay, we're gonna... Oh, this poison. You know, I'll, I'll watch, like, a... I can watch, like, a... Not a rom-com or something, but, like, a romance movie. Or I was, like, watching Toradora earlier today. Because I hear it was good, and I wanted to get some free leech shit going to up my ratio on anime bites so I can download some obscure shit. Also, yeah, we're gonna need to come up with a plan for this one because this isn't gonna work. And, uh, you know, I watch something like that, and I think to myself, this doesn't exist. This could not happen in real life. All of these, and I'm not saying it's not, have I had this conversation before? This seems, I'm, I'm having like deja vu, which is weird because I, huh, I haven't watched Toradora until just now, so that's, that can't be it, but weird. But, uh, you know, you watch something like that, it's like, this is a sweet story. This is, uh, this is, I like this, but it doesn't exist. Um, and I think that's actually a common misconception that people have, is that they think women care about, like, romance, and men are just, like, cold and calculating or something. I think, if anything, it's the exact opposite. A woman will, like, <laughs> as far as I have seen, a woman will leave you in a heartbeat if the situation looks better somewhere else. I'm not saying all women, but I'm going to say the vast majority of them, and it's not uncommon. But a man won't, and maybe that's just because he's content with what he has. But I think, I think, I mean, 
the Taj Mahal was built by a man for his wife, not by a woman for his husband. And, I, and you know, you could say, like, well, it's because none of the m women in that time had any fucking money. And it's like, yeah, okay. But, uh, do you think it would happen today? Fuck Forlorn. Stop. Like, do you, do you, could you imagine a woman building a fucking palace for her man? Not in a thousand years. No, it wouldn't happen. Men are romantic. Women aren't. It's just, it's, that's just how it is. I know that sounds like the beginning of like a, of a justification for being a homo, which I can assure you it is not. But, uh, it's, it's just, you know, all the love poetry in the world was not written by women. They're, you know, there's, it's just not the case. There's no great stories of a, of a woman coming home from war, you know, and, and t to his loved one. All this shit. It's like, all of it. It's, it's a man. The men are the one who, who like actually care. And that's why it's fucking heartbreaking to see a guy get left or get like divorced or something. Actually, no, because palaces are expensive as shit. Yeah, well. Pure love romance is the best genre no matter how unrealistic. Well, that's, yeah, I mean, it's... But all I'm saying is, I think it's I think it's a misconception. I think women are actually a lot more practical in relationships than men. A man can can make things uh, like in his mind appear a lot better than they are. I mean, just think about the fact: how often do you see a good-looking man or a successful man with an ugly woman versus an ugly man with an attractive woman? It is much- I'm not saying ugly man with attractive woman doesn't happen- Well, okay, let's- let's put it another way. Cause ugly, he might have something else going on. You know what I mean? He might be rich. Let's say a successful or otherwise desirable man, you know, for a woman with a less desirable woman or a desirable woman with a less desirable man. That sort of, you know, which is more likely? It's the, uh... It's definitely the undesirable, or it's definitely the desirable man with an undesirable woman. Because a man can can look at this like, okay, she doesn't make any money. Okay, she's not pretty. Okay, X, Y, and Z. But, but he can romanticize it. He's like, but she's kind and loving and all these things. Whereas the woman will just say like, uh, he makes good money, he puts food on the table, he's the father of my kids. That's, you know, practical reasons. Just, he, you know, he makes me feel good when I'm around him. Or just something like, like, s s simple shit. Odysseus came back to his life after however long. Yeah, see? It's been going for centuries. <laughs> but that's why... I, I'm like... I'm a little, uh... Jaded when it comes to relationships. Because... Personally... I would... I would want to go the whole nine yards romance thing, but I know that doesn't work, right? You would be much more successful just being su su successful. All the rest of the shit is like, it's not gonna do you anything. Okay, we're gonna die by a second because I was not paying attention. I don't know what I'm going on about. Just, it was the depressing part of the season, I guess. Like I said at the beginning, this is the time of the year when everybody kills themselves. And then right before New Year's, they think about all the things that they meant to do last year and didn't. And they think about how they're wasting their lives. Not me. But I guess it rubs off a little bit. You just gave up, huh? <laughs> well, no. But... Uh, 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 I've, I've almost... I've kind of given up on romance. I've accepted the fact that if I wanted a woman, I could, I could get it. And so now I've just had to become practical. Like, I'm just waiting for a woman who's attractive, who, you know, who meets certain guidelines. Whereas normally, you know, like in the past, I'd be, I'd be waiting for, like, true love or some stupid shit. Not anymore. Now I just have to realize that, like, when I'm ready, I'll just go find one <laughs> that's somewhat attractive and, uh, and, you know, ha meets these requirements. It's sad. It's not what I want to do. It's not the way I want to approach things. If it works out differently, I'll be happy. So yeah, I guess in a way I have given up on it. Especially the whole treating women like shit thing has uh, been a bit of an eye-opener. It fucking works, 100%. Doesn't matter who the woman is. 
I mean, Dalton has his girlfriend completely because he treated her like shit. And I was the one who told him to do it because I was like, hey, it'd be kind of funny if you tried this out. And then it got him, like, a loving, religious girlfriend who he's probably going to marry, like, within a year. And they're probably going to be real happy. If she's attractive and you actually like her as a person, that's all you need. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not like... I mean, there's also the thing that I think a lot of people get wrong is that you have to be in love to get married to someone, whereas... Or, well, I mean, you should to some degree. But I mean, like, there's the idea that it'll just happen, whereas it's a lot more accurate that you can... Love is kind of a thing you can work on. <laughs> it sounds it sounds jaded, but it's it's kind of true. I mean, there are people who stay married for, you know, 30, 40 years, you know, their whole lives or whatever. And it's not like they loved each other the whole time, but they had sort of a this an understanding of we're going to work on this. And or I mean, there's a reason fucking arranged marriages are some of the most successful in the world because they're like, well, I guess we're stuck together. Let's make this work. And then it works. <laughs> okay, this is actually... I was gonna say not that bad. I'm probably gonna fucking die, but... Actually... Uh, just the poison is the main thing here. Also the tail. Ah, uh, okay. All things require work, like plants and animals and women. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm just ranting at this point. Mary Mitha. I don't like, I don't like snake girls. I'm not, a, not a fan. I mean, you've, you've heard my entire goal for a marriage is to have tons of kids. Where, on a, on a monster girl like that, where does it, where, where is it? You know what I mean? Where are the goods? What's gonna happen there? And is she gonna lay eggs? And out of where? Because there's nothing- I didn't see anything, did you? I think we can just get past these guys, just like, say, fuck you. Or maybe we'll just die instead. Uh, well, it kinda worked. It, it kinda worked. I guess I'm not too upset about being poisoned, because we're gonna get poisoned right now. I am a little upset about dying, though. Marry Mitha and get her poisoned, if you know what I mean. Hmm? <laughs> What's that? Marry a dog girl, then. What's that? <laughs> Where are we going now? What kind of- what kind of path if I led this down- oh, that was good. That was good. I'm getting- what do the- what do the kids say? I'm getting, uh, tilted? <laughs> it's fine. She won't kill you anymore? That's a plus. I suppose she's not that strong. We could get someone better, I think. I don't know. 